Hi hands, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Meg, welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back. Apologies for this setting. I sat down to film this video and then I suddenly just had this hunger come over me and we had nothing to eat in the house for lunch. So I came to Costa to get a ham and cheese vegan toasty and a hot chocolate, which I still have here. The toasty is long gone. That was inhaled 30 seconds after I bought it, but a bit of hair tickling my nose i thought um since it's just a roster reveal today that i would film in my car it feels like ages since i filmed in my car today is going to be my september roster reveal <laughs> I am going to start the roster reveal by telling you what I bid for for the month. So I placed a few more bids than last month, this month, um, because I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. I placed six bids in total, the first one being for the weekend after my birthday off. So my birthday is the 14th of September, but it's a Wednesday and I wasn't overly fussed about having my actual birthday off. But I do like to always have either the weekend after or the weekend before off, purely because for any of you that don't know, I don't actually live near my family. I live about an hour and a half away. Um, so when it's my birthday, I tend to like to have the weekend off so that I can go and see them. And also just so that I can do something nice. Obviously, if my birthday falls on a weekend, even better. But yeah, this year it falls in the middle of the week. And I just thought it's a random Wednesday. I don't really need my actual birthday off, but I would love the weekend off after it. So I bid for the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday off. I also, in terms of days off, bid for weekends off, purely because my other half works Monday to Friday, nine to five, so he only gets the weekends off. And when I was at EasyJet, it was fine because I was home in the evenings, but obviously now where I'm going away a lot, if I'm not off on a weekend, it kind of limits our time together. I mean, we do live together, so we do still see each other a lot, but I thought it would be nice to have weekends off together. Obviously, I know that I'm not going to get every weekend off, but just to have like even one day of the weekend off would be nice. And then my other four bids were for destinations. So my first bid was for the Caribbean. As you will know, I want to go to the Caribbean and I will be bidding for it until I get it. My second bid was for LA. Again, another kind of bucket list destination in the US, a bit like New York. I also bid for on Orlando. So my reasons for this was because I want to go to Disney World or to... Universal Studios or to one of the water parks. Whether I will actually be able to do that or not is another story, but that's why I bid for it. And then my final bid was for a Singapore Sydney. So my airline basically does a nine day trip where we fly to Singapore from Heathrow. We then stay there for I think two nights. Then we fly to Sydney from Singapore, stay there for one night, back to Singapore, two nights, and then back to Heathrow. And because of the flight times and the time differences and everything like that, it ends up being a nine day trip. And I thought I would love to visit Australia. I would love to visit Singapore. So I would love to do that trip. So those were my bids for September. So let's find out if I got any of them, shall we? So my September roster, I won't lie, when I first looked at it, because bearing in mind, I looked at it during a flight because um, it came out the day that I was coming back from Philadelphia. Um, but I couldn't get on it before we took off because as I mentioned in the vlog, everyone was trying to get on it at the same time and it just crashes. However, we do actually have access to our rosters in flight as long as we connect to the Wi-Fi because you're allowed to use like work related apps in flight without paying for the Wi-Fi bundles. And so on my break, I managed to get onto it. And at first I was a little bit disappointed with it. You'll see why, but I do understand that I'm still new and that's probably why my roster has been planned out the way that it has been. But it's still a good roster. I've still got some good trips on there and I'm still excited for it. So some of you may remember if you watched my August roster reveal that the last month of August currently is a singular lonely available day. And I thought that this might turn into a block of available days, but it hasn't. I have a block of five, the first day obviously being the available day. And then on my day one, I have a Geneva there and back, and that is followed by a Milan standover. So a standover essentially is kind of like a three day long haul trip but it's a European destination, so it's called a standover. Essentially, it's not just one night stop, it's two nights there rather than one, and it means that I have a clear day there, which is amazing, because although Milan was the first night stop that I did with my new airline, 
I was only there for less than 12 hours so literally all I did was go out for dinner and then we were reporting early the next day whereas this one I'm there for a whole day and a whole night so I've got so much more time to go and properly explore somebody asked on my last roster reveal if I could tell you the plane that I'm flying on for each of my trips so I'm gonna start doing that as well I am on a 320 all day for that day but I'm actually with a different crew for every flight that I do so basically this was really alien to me when I first came to my new airline because at EasyJet, if you ever did a three sector day into a night stop, you were with the same crew for the whole day and then you were with the same crew for the whole day the next day. But now it's not like that. So outbound to Geneva, I have one crew. They are then getting off for a night stop. However, I'm not, I'm staying on board. And then another crew that I'm assuming are on a night stop the night before are then joining me to do the flight back to Heathrow. And then after we get back to Heathrow, I have another crew to go to Milan with and that is kind of what it's like at my airline in terms of like short haul Euro tours things like that you generally are with different crew every flight that you do it's bizarre it took me a while to get my head around it but it's kind of just the norm now I have a nice little Milan standover so day three is obviously a clear day in Milan which is amazing because it means that I can actually go into the proper city and actually explore which I didn't really have time to do last time so I will obviously be vlogging it I know I've already vlogged Milan quite recently but because I've got so much more time there and I can do so much more that's why I've chosen to vlog it anyway and then my day four is lovely because it's literally one flight back to Heathrow and that's it surprise surprise it is with a different crew <laughs> So the crew that I'm going to Milan with are obviously only on a night stop so they're going back the next day whereas I've got a standover so I'm not going back until the following day. That is day four and then day five I have a Parma there and back and that whole block of flights my Geneva, my Milan, to and from and my Parma are all on a 320 which as you know is my home from home It's what I'm so used to flying on at EasyJet. I then have a lovely two days off after that block. After my days off I actually have a four day mini euro tour and i say mini because it's only two destinations but i'm still gone for four days let me explain day one is a zurich there and back followed by a dusseldorf night stop which i really got my fingers crossed that i'm gonna keep because i didn't get to do my stuttgart night stop that i was supposed to do in august actually by some miracle i'm with the same crew for this whole euro tour together with i'm with them for the zurich i'm with them for the dusseldorf and i'm then with them for the rest of the week as well which never happens after i've literally just sat here and explained to you that we're always with different crew i'm actually with the same one for this whole trip anyway we do a zurich there and back and we then go on to dusseldorf for the night we get there quite late at night so i imagine i will be going straight to bed when i get there however I pretty much have the whole day there the next day. I don't report until late afternoon, which is really nice because normally with night stops, you just get the minimum rest. So it's really nice to actually have like pretty much a full day in Dusseldorf because as I say, I've never been to Germany and I would really love to do something nice with my day. That is also all on a 320. On day two, I come back to Heathrow and then I go on to Aberdeen in Scotland. Some of you may know I have been to Inverness and Glasgow in Scotland with EasyJet, so I'm quite happy to be going to another Scottish destination. I know it's still technically the UK, but I still, I just love going anywhere. Like I, even if I went, down the road to Newquay in Cornwall I'd be happy with that because I've never been to Cornwall so it's still a destination that I've never been to I know it'll probably be cold by that point because it'll be like mid-September but to be honest I'm quite looking forward to the cold weather now I'm so ready for autumn guys like you don't understand hence the chocolate brown hoodie although I'm actually sweating because I'm in my car and I'm drinking hot chocolate so maybe it was a bad choice anyway the Aberdeen is actually a standover as well so I've got a whole day in Aberdeen you best believe I would We'll be going straight to the Primark that's one thing I know for sure I'll be doing if any of you've got any other suggestions of things to do in Aberdeen then please let me know get there again quite late at night so I will be going straight to bed but the good thing about Sandover is you don't feel like you're missing out by going to bed because you know you've got the whole of the next day and night there there's rarely ever a big time difference if any obviously in Scotland there isn't one at all so you don't feel jet lagged and you don't wake up in the middle of the night I actually said to myself because I didn't even know standovers were a thing until I did my Milan night stop in July and someone told me what a standover was and I was like do you know what I'm gonna bid for standovers for September completely forgot to bid for them and ended up getting two anyway so that's fab so as I said day three I am in Aberdeen for the whole day and night and then day four again I'm literally just coming back to Heathrow which is lovely because it's essentially a day off after that 
um, I finish really early in the morning. And that is a Saturday as well. And then I've also got the Sunday off, which is amazing. So I've kind of half got my weekend off there, which is really nice. And it's also just nice to just do one sector back to Heathrow. It sounds stupid, but three sector days can be so tiring, like more tiring than a long haul flight. So that is my little mini Euro tour. I am also going to vlog that. I'm gonna vlog them Dusseldorf and Aberdeen in the same vlog, because I just thought it would be quite fun to include two destinations in one vlog. Fingers crossed for me that I keep them, guys because i'll be so upset if i lose those night stops after that euro tour i have one day off which is a sunday which we love and that is followed by a block of four available days so i have two blocks of available days i have this one and one after this one which is sort of why i was disappointed when i saw my roster but i know that it happens when you're new you do get given blocks of available days and because it's a four day block it could quite easily change into a long haul i got my houston from a block of available days so I need you all to manifest for me an LA or a Caribbean trip or just another Euro tour. To be honest, as long as I get to go somewhere and stay there for a night or two, I'll be happy. I just really don't want it to change into a block of there and back because I've done my two years of those and I feel like I deserve a break now. Also, there and backs are no good for my petrol because... I used to spend a fortune on petrol going to Gatwick, but it's way worse going to Heathrow because it's longer, more miles, and petrol has like doubled in price since I was at Gatwick. So anything that's a night stop or longer than that is better for me petrol wise. And then after my block of four available days, I have my days off that I requested, which is really nice. It's nice to know that you can pretty much get the days off you request most of the time because I requested some days off in August which I got as well and not only have they given me the three days I requested they've also given me an extra day so I have the Friday to the Monday off for my birthday weekend which is amazing gives me plenty of time to go and see my family do something nice with my boyfriend potentially see my friends as well because my friends also live all around the country none of them live near me I haven't been home to see my family since May because that was the last time I had chance to because it was just before I started my training. So I'm really excited to go and see my family. I also have another nephew on the way. My brother and his girlfriend are having another baby and that will be the first time I've seen them since I found that out. So I'm really excited for that as well. After those four days off, I then have a block of five available days, which is even better in a way because that could turn into a five day trip, which I've not done one of yet. I'm literally begging all of you to manifest the four day and the five day availables to turn into a long haul trip, please. I was kind of hoping that they would have already changed by now, by the time I did my roster reveal. So it'd be a little bit more interesting, but they haven't, so. If you do want to keep up to date with when they do change, then make sure you're following me on Instagram. My username is at MegRHolland double underscore. That is where I post all of my updates. Obviously, when I'm down route as well, I post a lot on my stories and feed posts as well. So if you are interested in my travel journeys, then do make sure you're following me on there. I do also have a TikTok purely dedicated to flying, which is at Fly With Megs. I do post a roster reveal on there as well. It's kind of a shortened version because obviously TikToks are a lot shorter than YouTube videos. But I do also post other things on there to do with flying. And I am gonna try and start doing my days in the life of cabin crew again, because I know you guys like those. It's kind of difficult filming a vlog and for TikTok because obviously I feel film everything on my phone. I have to film YouTube videos in like landscape for the format of iMovie, whereas TikTok you film vertical. Is it vertical when it's up? Yeah, vertical. So I always forget to do TikToks because I'm too busy getting content for the vlog, but I'm gonna try and start getting into my TikToks again because I feel like I've been slacking on there recently. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. After that five day block of available days, I then have two days off and that is followed by a three day Orlando. So I report on day one late morning and because of the time difference, I get there kind of early evening on day one. I'm also flying on a triple seven, by the way. And I don't have a clear day there, which is, annoying because I would have used that clear day to go to Disney or Universal or a water park. However, my day two there, I don't report to go back to Heathrow until around the time that I get there the day before. So I have got 24 hours there. So I could potentially go to one of the parks. The only thing I'm obviously thinking is that I do have to operate a flight that evening. So if I'm really tired from the parks, it's not gonna be a good combination. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I obviously would love to go to a park and maybe I will end up going and I'll just bite the bullet and be tired on the way home. But 
yeah i haven't decided yet but obviously i will be vlogging it regardless because even if i don't go to a park orlando's still a really nice place to go obviously you're guaranteed hot weather they've got a good shopping mall there I'm sure the hotel's got a lovely pool as well so don't worry i'll still be vlogging it and you will find out in that vlog what i decide to do if any of you are crew and have done a three-day orlando and you've been to disney before or any of the parks before then let me know how you did it because i would love to find a way around it because i don't think we do a four-day orlando at my airline we do a four-day at la though which I know LA does have Disney parks and I think it has a Universal as well so maybe I could go when I eventually get in LA. As I was saying I report to fly back um, early to mid evening on day two and then I arrive back kind of mid morning on day three and then I'm finishing off the month with a day off although I feel like i will have two days off after that trip because i'm pretty sure you have to have two days after a long haul so i'll probably end up having the first day of october off as well that guys is my september roster reveal i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video